So welcome back to French Countryside Life. Um, back in the bathroom again. Surprisingly. Mate. Hot <laughs> what a hot What a mission. What a mission. But that's the price that you pay when you do things properly. That's Would you right. not agree? Short term pain, long term gain. That's it, like that. Uh, Write that one down. <laughs> of the week. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so uh, let's have a quick catch up and see, uh, see where we are. Okay, so the state of play is that these pipes, which originally went uh, across at an angle there, they now go under the floorboards. See if you can see that. Goes off into the abyss there. And uh, they come up under that corner. Um, look at this artistry here, look. Look at that. I know. That's what I thought. Um, so these are the uh, obviously hot and cold pipes that um, will go to the basin. And this is the waste uh, for the shower tray. Uh, it goes through the joist um, and out to the wall. We have to make another another hole. We'll just kneel down. Um, I learned something. Well, actually, I learned loads, but. Uh, I learned something interesting in that, uh, you see the joist here. So, what most people would do, I guess, who don't know any different, they would make uh, a V notch or a lump out of the top of the, joint and, uh, of the joist and just uh, stick the pipe on top, which uh, dramatically weakens the joist, apparently. Uh, which, when you think about it, stands to reason. But if you make a hole like that and that, uh, and that it still maintains the integrity of the beam. So I thought that was really interesting. All right, oh, blimey. So uh, we've got the um, the waterproof. It's not waterproof, is it? Uh, water resistant. Um, water resistant uh, plasterboard. Uh, that's gone in lovely. We use the Lasgu laser to um, get that right ninety degree uh, corner. Uh, to put the shower tray down. So that's where we are at the moment. Brilliant. So, a cup of coffee, I think. Definitely. All right, so it's uh, day 320. Um, we're in the bathroom. Um, made a massive amount of progress today. Um, fabulous t shirt, by the way. Yeah, do you like this? That's really, really nice. Limited edition. Is it? You can get them, see in the description. French Countryside Live t shirt. Wicked. My favourite. At least my fifth favourite t shirt. At least. At least. At least. That'll do. That'll have to do. All right, so uh, let's just have a quick look at uh, what we've done. And then um, Andy's got a pearl of wisdom he's going to share with us. <laughs> we laugh at it. So we're going to start a new series Andy's Words of Wisdom. <laughs> not so. really. Not, not really words of wisdom. No. It's, it's close enough. <laughs> All right, so um, Andy's got a theory on the progress in the building trade. Yeah, say, right. any project like this, right. uh, basically split into two types of progress, visual progress and actual progress. So actual progress would be exactly what we've done today, or Colin's done, put all the first fix plumbing in, all the wastes, the electrics, that kind of thing. And then cover them all up with floorboards. So if you're doing it as a job, the customer comes in at the end of the day, looks at it, and there's nothing changed. Absolutely nothing changed. To them, that's ridiculous. They've just been paying you to sit in the deck chair drinking cocktails all day. I was your pinnacle earlier. Yeah, it's well, good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but you would you know that it's actual progress. And then there's visual progress, which is all your painting, tiling, uh, plastering, and those trades. Everybody loves them. You know, you get the plasters in for two, three days, makes a massive difference, but it is literally just two or three days work. You know, we spend a week preparing the bathroom before we even get anywhere near tiling, and no one's interested in that bit. So yeah, it's split into visual progress and actual progress. And uh, yeah, up brilliant. till now, it's been actual. Uh, soon, we will get some visual yeah, some progress. Visual progress, yeah. Make, looking, make everybody happy. Yeah. <laughs> looking, for, looking forward to the visual progress, that'd be great. All right, so um, 
I've already said what we're going to be doing, so um, we'll see you again in a bit after we've done that. So, the hot and cold water come up from down there. We had to uh, solder those three bits together there. Um, that was a long day out. Need not the glue over then. Um, that goes up to there to supply the loo. Comes along now. And keep in mind this is all going to be under the floor, so it's going to be all nice and neat and tidy and clean. Two branches go up to the hand basin, and it's hot and cold. Go along there. up behind the plasterboard wall, which is obviously going to be tiled, and this is the face plate for the shower. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we've done so far. Um, next step is to cover that back up with the floorboards and um, concrete screed over this. So, yeah, really pleased with that today. It's a big step for me actually to do that amount of plumbing to that level actually. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite complex for me anyway. Okay, so we're still in the bathroom obviously and Andy's waterproof the walls, uh, especially in the corner joint, very important. Um, and the next job, get the shower tray in. <laughs> so, um, much like myself, watch and learn. Reserve for posterior. <laughs> posterior. <laughs> Playing the long game for subscribers, <laughs> as you said. <laughs> 20 years time, we might yeah. get a few subscribers from You never know your luck. <laughs> you can't win it if you ain't in it. That's it. So that's the floor all tiled. Andy did the majority of it. I did the rubbish bit by the door. So, uh, yep, yeah, it's, it's been a learning curve, a steep old learning curve. But it's um, been brilliant. So, apparently, grow out in this afternoon. So, it's the end of the day, and the floor is done. Look at that. Well pleased with that, and it's come out. Looks fantastic. So tomorrow, it's the walls. Looking forward to that too. Okay, so back in the bathroom, um, we started the tiles. Um, we've got the um, darker grey at the bottom with the border. It's really nice. Holes cut out for the shower. Um, it's going to be a lighter grey going on the top. So I'll have like a two-tone effect, that's gonna be nice. Um, cut the holes for the um, for the hot and cold. Um, very pleased with that. Um, yeah, so uh, spot on lunch and get back to it.
Okay, so it is Saturday evening. Got a vast mishmash mix up of tools there. Look at that lot. Always happens on the last day. Uh, had a few issues here and there, but it's been uh, nothing that we haven't been able to overcome. It's brilliant. All right, so let's take a look. So, a few minor things that uh, still got to be done. So uh, we're waiting on the shower screen. That's probably not going to. When did they say? It? Was it the sixth or well, the fourth? Yeah, the fourth of September. So we're uh, just waiting on that. Um, loving the mirror. Uh, yeah, but the loo there looks fantastic. Got the new um, towel rail, new extract, super duper turbo nutter <laughs> fan. <Yeah. laughs> Should we do the do, do the, the do the tissue test? Okay, so go on, you well. do it. Yeah. Look at that. We're lucky if it doesn't suck all the tiles off the wall. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so, um, yeah, fantastic. Okay, so that uh, pretty much completes it as far as Anne is concerned. Uh, we've got a few things left to do, but um, nothing that I can't handle. Um, I can't thank Anne enough for all, his, for all his work and his patience with me. I think that's, uh, that's been the biggest hurdle to overcome, working with an idiot. It's been a pleasure. So, um, <laughs> but uh, no, it's been brilliant. And I've, I've learned so much, like you wouldn't believe. I've, I've learned new skills. Um, who knew at 60, or nearly 60, I could learn so much in two weeks. Who knew? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this journey of the new bathroom. I certainly have. And um, if you'd like to give the video a thumbs up and share it on social media maybe, press the notification bell and maybe think about subscribing if you're not subscribed already. And all that leaves to say is, mine there you go and I'll see you soon.